Hello, my friends! This is the video that I made on BABA on November 18th of this year, when the price of this asset was, as you can see right here, at $88.59. And I made this video right after they published their earnings report. And uh, my main assumption was that we have uh, to land lower at around uh, $85.54. Uh, and uh, guys, take a look right here. We were at this very point, and uh, right after I made my previous video, this asset uh, lost uh, about 7% uh, of its value, and it landed uh, right around uh, 80. Uh, $2.63 and uh, I have to admit that it is another evidence of the power of technical analysis. And guys, for those of you who follow my channel for quite some time, you know that I caught a lot of uh, movements and a lot of crucial pivotal points for this asset. Uh, I caught uh, this uh, top to the tick. I predicted that it has uh, to have a retracement to the downside and I showed you multiple times that we might land at, uh, at least uh, $95. Then, from this point, uh, my assumption was that potentially we might have a movement to the upside and we set a stop loss order at around $93. We hit this stop loss order. It prevented us uh, from major losses for more than, uh, wait a second, from this point uh, this asset lost about uh, 15%, but we've lost not more than 4% of uh, the uh, deposit. And uh, from this point, uh, we went even lower. And guys, for now, we are nearing the crucial point of uh, uh, its uh, price section. And in my technical analysis, I will show you what I'm talking about. But for now, if you want to know more about technical analysis, if you want to enhance your trading skills, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account. And guys, for now there is a Black Friday sale for the price of about $17.5 for the first month. You will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. And what is more importantly, you will be able uh, to uh, use my thoughts, uh, my brain and my experience in your technical analysis. And I think uh, it is quite a fair deal. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, rock star in this life, gone live it up. So guys, let's take a look on its price action again and let's zoom out to a daily time frame. I have to admit uh, that uh, this movement to the upside had quite substantial volume and this retracement is extremely deep. And guys, uh, if I uh, turn off uh, the, all the tools, you can see that from this top uh, to this bottom, this asset lost about 30% uh, of its value. And uh, it is a quite interesting um, pattern because we don't have major retracements. That is why, guys, we are nearing the local U-turn for this asset. And guys, do not uh, try to say that uh, I made a lot of predictions about its U-turn. Guys, I'm a trader. That is why I predict uh, its uh, short-term uh, trends. And that is why, guys, uh, the next U-turn is near. But everything I will show you in my technical analysis. But for now, let's take a look at its fundamentals. I have to admit that the price targets uh, are quite the same. Uh, we have, according to TipRank's uh, consensus analyst price target for the next uh, 12 months uh, at the range of about $126.61, which implies about 52.3% uh, of upside potential. And among 16 analysts, and by the way, previously it was 17 analysts, uh, we have 15 who suggest to buy, one who suggests to hold, and zero who suggests to sell. And guys, previously we had two analysts uh, who suggest to hold. And uh, as you can see right here, even the lowest, uh, the lowest price target for this asset is above our current price. It is uh, at $105 and we are currently at uh, $83.13. So definitely this asset uh, has quite substantial uh, bullish momentum. But at the same time, guys, the main catalyst that uh, drove the price of this asset lower, especially from this point from November the 6th, guess what? Definitely it is the result of the elections of the uh, President of the United States. And uh, we know that Donald Trump uh, was elected uh, on November the 6th and uh, uh, it, these results were announced on November the 6th. And right after that uh, this asset dropped uh, about 18% uh, uh, of its value. So we know that Donald Trump uh, 
uh, expected uh, to uh, rise uh, the tariffs uh, on all the Chinese goods in order to protect uh, US uh, manufacturers. And uh, this uh, anticipation definitely was the main reason of uh, its movement to the downside. On top of that, guys, uh, if you uh, rely on the news, and I have to admit that if you type in Google search bar uh, Baba Stock and switch to Newstop folder, you will find a lot of uh, quite uh, neutral or uh, basically positive news on Alibaba. But this news, despite uh, all of this news, the price of Alibaba still goes south. And uh, how we can uh, predict uh, where the trend reversal might happen? First of all, guys, we have to have uh, some fundamental news that uh, should uh, uh, reverse its price action. And one of these news, uh, if, you if you Google 60 tariffs China, you will see that uh, the most recent news uh, are quite interesting. And uh, one of them is uh, very promising for Alibaba. And it says, economists say Trump won't hit China with 60% tariffs early on. So, and here is uh, this article uh, uh, in details. It was published on November the 20th. And uh, the main idea of this article is that uh, uh, most likely Donald Trump will not implement uh, this 60% tariffs uh, on Chinese goods. Uh, and uh, it explains why he will not do it. And I have to admit that uh, uh, these effects are quite substantial in my opinion. That is why, guys, this might be the major catalyst for its trend reversal. On top of that, guys, and uh, for now, let's uh, continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. On top of that, guys, we are nearing to its uh, range of uh, support, crucial range of support that it shouldn't uh, break in order to remain at least uh, uh, in the diagonal and in order to have uh, a possibility to hit, uh, let's say, about 100 to 108 dollars mark. And uh, this is the bottom uh, of uh, its previous wave. And according to Elliott Wave theory, the motif wave uh, should have five wave structure and it shouldn't overlap uh, the territory of the first one with the territory of the fourth one. And uh, for now, we eliminated uh, this rule by breaking below this range of about 100, uh, of about 85.91 dollars. And for now, the next elimination point that will uh, uh, eliminate the entire bull count will be the breakout below the bottom of the second wave. And uh, we cannot have the retracement that is lower the initial, uh, than the initial wave. That is why, guys, if this asset breaks uh, uh, this bottom, 79.5 dollars, uh, roughly this range, we will eliminate uh, even a diagonal in this movement. And uh, we will be mostly on a bare side. But so far so good and we have, uh, oh, let's take uh, some measurements, let's do some measurements and we have about 4% uh, of downside potential to this range of support. And the most likely, guys, I think uh, we should place our next stop loss order right below this bottom because in general, I have to admit that this movement to the downside doesn't have a major retracement. Even this movement from its uh, swing high of 100 and uh, uh, 19.5 dollars doesn't have uh, proper subdivision and doesn't have uh, uh, proper uh, retracements and that is why guys we have to see this bounce at least a bounce and how high we might land uh, well let's take a look at its indicators first of all and i have to admit that um, this indicator is quite scary our sign on the daily time frame is pointing down and we don't have any signs of uh, bullish divergences yet let's switch to four hours time frame well 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 we also on a bear side unfortunately we are still on the bear side and uh, this means uh, uh, the uh, probability of bounce uh, becomes a little bit lower let's switch to three hours time frame the same structure two hours the same hourly time frame well again not the best one we can clearly see the bounce out of the range of about uh, 24.64 points and uh, as you can see on uh, these two lines uh, we are on bare side of the momentum in general we are on bare side and uh, we don't have uh, any signs of trend reversal yet so 
This means uh, this bounce uh, is uh, not so probable. I would say I don't uh, have more than 65% uh, of uh, its uh, probability. But at the same time, guys, somewhere here in the ranges in between uh, $79.65 all the way down to probably $74.31. And definitely this is below our potential uh, level of uh, uh, invalidation this stop loss order at 79 dollars uh, basically we might have uh, this bounce and uh, i have to admit that uh, yes it will happen but uh, at the same time guys uh, accumulate uh, your position uh, on the downside uh, incrementally and only in this case uh, you will have uh, quite a, a lucrative average price and i have to admit that uh, the main uh, line that should hold is this one this bottom at 70 dollars mark this means guys uh, the closer we get to this line without any major retracements the more likely we will have quite substantial bounce to the upside and uh, it is up to you whether you want to uh, accumulate your short-term long position on this asset or not but in general if your investment horizon is longer than a couple of years definitely these levels uh, below 90 dollars uh, might be quite quite lucrative in the long-term perspective so i think that's all information that i want to provide you if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye